Well, is there any connection between Sinsh and Kosh in terms of calculus? Of course there is. Derivative. But what kind of derivative is this? Well, the truth is, cos of x is indeed equal to, if we differentiate, sinh x. This is correct. Okay, so this is true. What we can do is, you can just go ahead and do the derivative right here. The 1 half stays, e to the x stays, the derivative e to the negative x stays, but don't forget to multiply by negative 1 because of the chain rule. So you have the negative right here, and now will be sinh. And here is the beauty that I will just actually uh, tell you guys the following. I will just put it down right here somewhere. If you differentiate cosh, you get sinh as well. There's no negative. The derivative cosh is positive sinh, and the derivative sinh is positive cosh. Just go ahead and try that out if you would like. But anyway, my job is to do the power series. So we will be differentiating sinh x, which is that over there. I will just write down the sum n goes from 0 to infinity. And we have 1 over n, 2n plus 1 factorial, this guy, and x to the 2n plus 1. And we know r is infinity, so I'll just put that down later. This right here is equal to, well, do the derivative, bring this to the front, minus 1. So you're looking at 2n plus 1. Break this down. This is 2n plus 1 times 2n, and then so on, so on, so on. So you can factor this. So this and that will cancel. And in the end, you end up with the sum n goes from 0 to infinity, positive 1 over 2n factorial this guy. And then this is just x to the 2n. Yes, this is the cost, and you don't alternate at all. And Similar, b uh, r is infinity, i is negative infinity to positive infinity, and uh, you can be happy. I can be happy too because we are done.